tractor uh, from my daughter's house got swept away. Be down 1781. Good afternoon, everybody. How's it going? It has now officially been one week since we ended our daily vlog for one year straight. And yeah, there's only been three vlogs since then. I've been on a bit of a vlogcation, if you will. It's just been really nice to be able to do a few things here and there and not always have a camera in my hand. Also, the past two days, it's been raining pretty much nonstop, so there wasn't much to do. One cool thing is this jacket that you see me wearing. It's my Bobax or Bobax, uh, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. It's the travel jacket I bought before Amy and I went to London. And lucky for us, when we went to London, it was like the warmest time ever in London, and it was over 90 degrees for pretty much our entire trip. And it didn't get that much use. But now, I'm testing it out. But something pretty cool happened. Check it out. That was completely unprompted. They found my video online. Now that video was by far not a proper review. Honestly, it wasn't a review at all. I didn't even expect this jacket to come that day. I was totally anticipating a different package and when I opened it up and saw this, I was surprised. But I do have a few things that I'd like to say about it. While I may not have had the chance to wear the jacket while in London, I did wear it to and from. So I have traveled with the jacket and there's been a lot of days like this throughout the summer where I've worn it to work. Unfortunately, right now, it's not raining. Very convenient when I want to talk about how waterproof the jacket actually is. Now, I have worn this jacket in some pretty substantial rain. Mostly, though, from the house to the car, from the car to work, and running around, like, the mall and some errands and whatnot throughout the summer when it was a little chilly and it was just pouring rain. So, I cannot vouch for the longevity of the waterproofing-ishness of the jacket for people like city dwellers that will be using mass transit or walking a lot. So I can't guarantee that you will stay dry all day long. But so far for me, everything underneath this jacket stays completely safe and dry. I will say right off the bat, this jacket is very comfortable. And for the most part, I really enjoy it. But let's get into the actual review. As I stated before, shipping for me was not a problem. I didn't even expect it to come as fast as it did. I did see some reviews where a lot of people were waiting an extended period of time. I believe that was for one of two reasons. A, they ordered it right from the Kickstarter campaign, or B, they ordered it directly from the manufacturer, and that took a little bit longer to get to them. I ordered mine directly from Amazon. There's a link down below. I am 5'9", between 165 and 170 pounds. This jacket is a size medium, and it fits really nicely. I really like the cut of this jacket. I think it's the perfect length. It overlaps my waistline without coming down too far and being in the way when you sit down. It's long enough so when I sit it doesn't ride up my back. Overall, again, very satisfied with this jacket. A few of the things that I have issue with I'm going to point out first. Starting with the handcuffs. These are great on the plane when it was a little chilly. It was nice to put these on and take a nap and relax. But the main issue with these is as follows. If you wear any type of watch or bracelets, this is what happens when you put the jacket on. The sleeve automatically comes out. It's not such an issue with my right wrist, but with my left wrist, it becomes an issue when you try to tuck it back in because now I have a rather large watch. So if it's tucked in, it's fine, but now I can't see my watch. I need to tuck it past my watch so I can see it. And now that's comfortable, but now if I want to get it on, I really have to dig back in there to get it. Again, once they're on, they're very comfortable. Once this jacket is zipped up, it's really comfortable to wear, to nap in, and everything is quite accessible. That was the big problem. And if you take a look at Bobax's video, there's a quick cut where this becomes an issue. Check that out here. It's not a deal breaker for me because it's not so hard to just kind of tuck it in, but you look awkward doing it and it's just an extra step if you're just wearing the jacket as a rain jacket 
that you don't have to do because now I got to tuck it in, get it past my watch. Now I made my watch all uncomfortable. I have to readjust everything. And every time you take the jacket off, you have to deal with that again. My other main problem is here. The pockets, while very accessible, they're very shallow. So you can't actually fit too much comfortably in here. I can stick my cell phone or something in there, and that's kind of comfortable. But if I go to stick my car keys or anything semi-bulky, there's just not a lot of room. In addition, when you're walking and you just want to put your hands in your pockets, you can't really see it, but actually the butt of my hand sticks out. I can't even fit my hands in there. If I ball them up, it's not a problem, but if I'm just sticking my hands in like this, it only comes to about here on the palm of my hand. The rest sticks out past the seam. While it's not a deal breaker again, or really that uncomfortable, I can really feel the edge of the zipper rubbing along my hand. So if these pockets were slightly larger, that would be great. I mean, there's not that much room. They could probably slide them out closer to the jacket seam, and that still wouldn't be an issue. And that would give you probably another inch and a half to two inches of space. And they can also maybe make them go up inside a little bit higher. That would just allow you to fit more things in there a little more comfortably. Now, this chest pocket here is really invaluable and super handy. I would, again, make this pocket slightly larger, maybe about an inch taller and slightly deeper. It fits your passport no problem, but I like to stick my airline ticket inside my passport, and it's usually a little bit longer. So when you're sticking it in and out, it actually gets caught on the top or bottom of the zipper, and it makes it slightly uncomfortable inside because it doesn't quite lay flat. But to get it in and out, it was extremely accessible. The cell phone pocket is the perfect size. It is the exact size the outside pocket should be. But to get your cell phone in or out, this is an iPhone 6S, so if I had a Plus that was a little bit larger, it would still fit in here with zero issues. There's plenty of room in there. The only thing that I would add would potentially be a headphone grommet because these little loops that I'll show you in a second are for routing your headphones, so you can only zip the pocket slightly to the top, and I don't like that just because it gives the, the zipper a chance to unzip on you. Being an interior pocket when zipped up, it's not that big of an issue, but in the past with other jackets, when you have a headphone sticking out, it wiggles a little bit, and I see the interior pocket have a tendency to kind of back itself down. Just for security reasons, I'd like to see that little grommet there so that zipper could be fully up and secured. Now this pocket, I did not expect to actually use that often. It's the insulated, like, beer koozie style pocket. Now, you can feel it. It is thick, which does feel a little weird and uncomfortable. I did stick a few things in there, uh, some paperwork, a receipt or so, while we were traveling. And while it does work as an actual pocket, I don't recommend you using it as an actual pocket because the neoprene inside has a tendency to make things stick to it. But I did actually use this pocket on the plane to keep my soda in, mostly when I was trying to jostle things around because your airline tray is not that large. So it was actually really handy to be able to stick the soda or my bottle of water in my pocket so I had more room on my tray to move things around if I was sitting on the outside and my wife needed to get out to use the restroom or if there were long flights to get out to stretch your legs, it was easy to stick your drink in there, one less thing to worry about. You can kind of pick everything else up on the tray. It was quite handy. The inside left has these two little stash pockets here. I believe the first iteration of this jacket actually had the option for an airline blanket that you could fold up and stash in one of these two pockets. I did not see that as an option anywhere now, if you had potentially another device, it's actually a very good size for a cell phone or any other, other device. Some people carry multiple phones when they travel. Now the tablet pocket on the right side is very, very large. Where I didn't use this for an actual tablet as I didn't travel with one this time, I did, however, use it for the inflatable neck pillow. I fold it in half and it actually fits in there quite snugly. Yeah. 
It doesn't quite get in the way, you can kind of feel it. It's not that uncomfortable and it's, it's quite easy to travel and better than the option I believe they want you to use. Inside the hood, there's a pocket here, but as you can see it's all open and there's only one button that prevents the whole thing from opening. It's a little tough to get closed, but when I got the jacket, the neck pillow was folded into a quarter and it was placed inside the hood. And at first, I didn't know what was actually in the hood. I could feel something uncomfortable moving around in there. And then I realized it was the neck pillow that could easily slide out. Now I'm sure you can fold this down and somehow make it fit in there, but if they want you to carry it in the hood, there should be a better attachment point in here. But as I stated earlier, the tablet pocket is actually a lot better fit for it. And I don't think carrying a tablet right there would be all that comfortable. I'd rather stick that in my backpack. And to be honest, the neck pillow isn't that great anyway. I'd recommend something like one of those beaded ones. I did only bring this one and I was tempted to buy a regular neck pillow in the airport on my way home because it was not that comfortable. So it's convenient, but it's really not that comfortable. So I do recommend you getting a different style of neck pillow. Staying with the inside of the jacket, we move to the right-hand side where we have our sunglass pocket. Now, I didn't quite use this very often. It just felt awkward with the thicker pocket on the outside and then your glasses on your chest too. It just felt like the chest of the pocket was just too bulky. Now, I like the design of this pocket. It's fleece lined on the inside, so it's not gonna scratch your lenses. It has this little eyelet that you actually strap one of your, you put the arm of your glasses through, kind of like this. If I can see now, you would take the arm of your glasses and fold them over so it makes it easier to get your glasses out of the pouch. And I did use the cleaning rag quite a bit. That was very convenient to have the cleaning rag. But again, with glasses in there and the thicker neoprene sleeve, it just felt far too bulky on my right chest, so I didn't really use that at all. Now, if we go back, talking about these loops, There are several of them. They're actually to route your headphones through the jacket. So when you're listening to music, you don't have to dangle them through your chest. They kind of route behind your neck and you can either do it one of two ways. I've seen this recommended where you have them both come out the far right side and then just dip under your chin or you can have one hang on one side, one hang on the other, but then you're going to have extra slack in the left headphone. Now let's move on to my two favorite parts of this jacket. And this really makes the few flaws kind of just fall to the wayside. Firstly, right here in my zipper, this is a pen. This comes in so handy. It is so incredibly convenient to have this pen right there on your zipper. Filling out customs forms, it was right there. They hand you out the forms on the plane, but they don't give you a pen to write with. So, everyone else was scrambling through purses and backpacks. I simply pulled mine off my zipper, handed it to my wife to be the nice gentleman that I am, allowed her to fill out her form first so I could copy everything that she wrote down, and then I filled out my form, and when I was done, simply put it back. And also, if you do order one of these jackets in the passport pocket, there's going to be three refills for this pen. I took mine out because they're very small and I didn't want to lose them. Now, the best part about this jacket in traveling on a plane is always a hassle. And it works with glasses because, my pro tip, never travel wearing your contacts. You fall asleep with your contacts in, you're going to have problems because you overwear your contacts. But the plane is so dry, your eyes are going to kill you when you wake up. So I always travel with my glasses on. Good night. This fits comfortably over my glasses. It doesn't pull in at all, so it's not putting any pressure on my face. 
That's what I was concerned about. I was really concerned with putting that flap on and it just being tight and pressing my glasses against my face, making it not only uncomfortable, but pretty much unbearable and unable to sleep. But it doesn't, it perfectly covers, it's long enough. I do see a little bit of light at the bottom, but for flying on an airplane, you close your eyes and that covers enough of everything else that you can easily pass out. Other pro tip. Go with the neck pillow on the outside of the hood. Do not try to put this thing on inside your hood. It'll fit, but it's really uncomfortable. Now, if Bobax were to come out with a V2 of this jacket, I would love to try it out. Wink, wink. There's only three things that I'd really change about this jacket. Two of them I see as very simple and very minimal changes. Make the chest passport pocket slightly taller and a little bit deeper, and then just take these stomach pockets, slide them on out to the seam. You're gonna get a little bit extra space there, and you're gonna be able to fully get your hand in there, and it's not gonna be so uncomfortable if you have something like keys or anything, really. A little bit more space in there would be perfect. Now for the sleeves, I'd recommend potentially, I, don't, I wouldn't say eliminate them because I do like them, they are comfortable, but for everyday use, for everyday wear of this jacket, they, they're not convenient at all. I don't know if there's a way to maybe make them slightly larger so they don't, maybe they don't get caught as much, but I don't think that's really gonna change the problem. For traveling, they're great, but once you're done being on a plane or a train, they kind of get in the way. I could see maybe if it's a little bit more brisk out but if it's getting that cold, you're probably going to be wearing a heavier jacket anyway. So, I don't maybe make them removable somehow if you could. That might be an option, maybe a small piece of Velcro or a thin zipper. But in my completely unbiased, unpaid opinion about this jacket, I would buy it again. I searched through just about every single different kind of travel jacket there was and just about all of them had a few features that I really disliked or found completely unnecessary. Yes, the price tag on this could be a bit high, but really you're getting some pretty good quality. I have not had any problems with my zippers. I have not had any problems with the jacket fraying. Again, I didn't get to wear this on my trip as much as I thought. I did not expect England to be over 90 degrees every day I was there, but I have been wearing this quite a bit lately. It still looks brand new. Now, whether or not it's going to look brand new next spring, I don't know. But for now, I would give this at least one thumb up, and I would say if you're thinking about it, give it a shot. I'm, I'm happy with the jacket. Overall, I'm satisfied. The neck pillow, while convenient and easy to inflate and deflate, it's not that comfortable. So in summation, I give this jacket one out of two thumbs up. I would buy this again. If you're looking into this jacket and you're kind of ready to pull the trigger, just go for it. If you're not sure, do a little bit more research and see what other options are out there. A few of the different jackets and manufacturers, they offer a few different options that are included in as the tech, the gear, the gadgets that kind of work with or that come with the actual jacket or vest. So find the one that's best for you. But if you're thinking about the Bobax Travel Jacket, I do like it and I would recommend it to a friend.